Perspective in the graphic arts is an approximate representation, generally on a flat surface, such as paper, of an image as it is seen by the eye. The two most characteristic features of perspective are that, objects are smaller as their distance from the observer increases, and that they are subject to foreshortening, meaning that an object's dimensions along the line of sight are shorter than its dimensions across the line of sight. Of the many types of perspective drawings, the most common categorizations of artificial perspective are 1, 2, and 3 point perspective. The names of these categories refer to the number of vanishing points in the perspective drawing. 1 point perspective A drawing has 1 point perspective when it contains only one vanishing point on the horizon line. This type of perspective is typically used for images of roads, railway tracks, hallways, or buildings viewed so that the front is directly facing the viewer. Any objects that are made up of lines either directly parallel with the viewer's line of sight or directly perpendicular, the railroad slats, can be represented with one-point perspective. These parallel lines converge at the vanishing point. Two-point perspective a drawing has two-point perspective when it contains two vanishing points on the horizon line. In an illustration, these vanishing points can be placed arbitrarily along the horizon. Two-point perspective can be used to draw the same objects as one-point perspective, rotated, looking at the corner of a house, or at two forked roads shrinking into the distance, for example. One point represents one set of parallel lines, the other point represents the other. Seen from the corner, one wall of a house would recede towards one vanishing point while the other wall recedes towards the opposite vanishing point. Other types of perspective drawings include, 3-point perspective, 4-point perspective, and 0-point perspective. In this series of tutorial we will focus on parallel perspective, which is basically a 1-point perspective, and angular perspective which is basically a 2-point perspective. Parallel perspective is a type of linear perspective. All categories of linear perspective include a horizon line and a stationary point, the position of the observer. In one point perspective, only one vanishing point exists, lines radiate outwardly from this point, and perpendicular lines meet at this point. Parallel perspective is the same as one point perspective. Let us start with an example of parallel perspective as shown in figure. Initially, draw the three lines representing picture plane, horizontal plane, and ground plane, respectively. Now copy the top view by placing one face of an object parallel and coincident to the picture plane. Now draw a line parallel to the another face to intersect the horizontal plane, this intersection represents the vanishing point. Then select an arbitrary stationary point just above the vanishing point.
Now join each of the vertices of the top view with stationary point. Since in parallel perspective front face of an object must be parallel to the back face, so there is no need to join all the vertices of the back face. Then project the same point vertically downwards. Now mark the points 1 and 8 as shown in the figure and draw the front view simply by using dimensions from the front view since all the lines in this case is parallel to the ground face. Now obtain the point opposite to the point 1, that is point 1 in the back face, which is the intersection of the vertical line from that point and vanished line from 1. Then vanish the other vertices, simply by joining the vertices with the vanishing point as shown. Now simply draw a vertical line from 1 to intersect vanished line from 2. and draw a horizontal line from that intersection point to intersect vanished line from 3. Proceed similarly to obtain the back face of an object and join the adjacent vertices to obtain the required parallel perspective drawing.